Hey there, my friend, welcome. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder of the Fit Father Project and the Fit Mother Project, and I'm pumped up for today's video where we're gonna talk about the best drinks for weight loss. And this is a list of things that if you wanna lose weight, even if you wanna build muscle and just live healthier, these are the categories of the five things that you should be drinking. And we're also gonna cover in this video the don't drink, must avoid list of things that are probably ruining your health, ruining your diet, because let's face it, when it comes to this health and fitness stuff, it's not just the foods we're eating or the exercise we're doing, it's how much we're hydrating and what things we're putting into our body as well, it has a huge impact. So we're gonna cover some of the science, I'm gonna give you the practical tips about how to get these things into your body, into your mouth, I know you're gonna learn a ton. So get out a pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. All right, so let's get into this list on the best drinks for weight loss. And I had to kick this off with a number one slot, organic green tea. It's perhaps one of the best, if not one of the only on this list, research proven weight loss drinks. Because there's a lot of like fat burner drinks out there and different kinds of energy drinks, but they don't actually have science to support their efficacy. Organic green tea does. And organic green tea is ama amazing for two reasons. First, it contains an antioxidant compound called EGCG, which helps prevent the body's damage by free radicals, but it also directly influences fat burning. Green tea actually helps your body mobilize and burn fatty acids. Acids. And there's plenty of studies um, that show that when you drink green tea, the green tea group versus the group who didn't drink green tea, green tea group out oxidizes more fat and loses more weight. And so this is due to the EGCG content in high quality green tea. Matcha is another type of green tea that's very high in EGCG, has a lot of benefits outside of weight loss too. It can help uh, increase your energy levels. It can lead to better cardiovascular health, um, even better brain functioning. And it's also because green tea has a light amount of caffeine in it. Now, a normal cup of coffee might have, let's just say, 80 to maybe 200 milligrams, depends on you know how steeped and how strong it is. A cup of green tea probably has like 25 to 40 milligrams. So it's about one third to one half um, as much caffeine and probably more on the one third side. So the nice thing about this is it's not like it's gonna give you this huge jolt. Um, it's just a little bit of caffeine and that amount of caffeine can actually increase your metabolism. And the caffeine in green tea is balanced out by an amino acid called L-theanine that actually removes some of the anxiety jittering of jittery effects. So people who drink green tea find that they're a little more like zen, calm focused versus maybe like the coffee jitters. This is one reason I recommend it as a top weight loss drink. Um, and I'd say for the purpose of drink for weight loss, uh, should, you should probably be having um, at least uh, two to four eight ounce cups of green tea per day. And one simple thing to do, I'm gonna show you in a second, is to just get a large jar in the morning, put a couple tea bags in there, steep this thing, and you can drink on it throughout the day. Very good thing for weight loss. Now, next on the list is some black coffee. So coffee is great for fat burning and weight loss. And actually studies show it's good for cognitive health too. Um, and I wanna, I wanna go, we're gonna get into the black coffee and then I wanna talk about should you drink coffee or not because that's another thing we need to talk about. But the black coffee, guess what? Coffee is so complex. It has so many different compounds in it. It's like caffeic acid, different phenols in it. Um, and these stuff are antioxidants. So they have similar effects to green tea in terms of that EGCG in the green tea. Not quite as potent, but they have a lot more caffeine. And the caffeine in black coffee does increase fat burning. And new research like breaking here in 2019 shows that uh, coffee, whole coffee itself, not just the caffeine, but the whole coffee actually increases uh, fat burning through these fat cells called brown fat that actually help uh, regulate your temperature and they can burn more calories. So coffee uh, works on the brown fat cells, increases their activity and you burn more calories. So if you get a metabolic boost from coffee and you burn an extra one to 200 calories per day and you have your diet in check, that could lead to weight loss over the long term. It could be the difference of maybe losing an extra five pounds over the course of a year. But do know this, none of these drinks that you drink on this list if you're eating too many calories are gonna help you lose weight, period, end of story. Diet is more important than these drinks, but these drinks can be helpful. Third thing on our list is kombucha or some good probiotic source. So kombucha is a fermented tea, typically black tea, sometimes green tea. And the fermenting process, essentially we add some yeast and some probiotics and they make it all carbonated. And what this does is gives your body a dose of the good gut bacteria that line your intestinal tract. I talk about this in a lot of different videos, but essentially your body, you are a tube. From your mouth to your butt, you're a tube. And in that tube is lined by literally billions, if not trillions of microorganisms, lots of different types of bacteria that help break down and digest our food. Um, and we have this kind of like symbiotic relationship with them. Well, it turns out people who are overweight and want to lose weight typically have um, different populations of those gut bacteria than people who are lean and healthy. And we do know when we actually change the gut microbiome and get the gut micro microbiome healthier in people who are overweight, they start losing weight automatically. 
like seriously automatically. And it's because the metabolism that happens in the digestive tract when you have the right, right probiotics um, makes things work a lot better, doesn't release all these inflammatory particles, and your body just functions better. Good health starts in the digestive tract. So kombucha can be helpful. It has those probiotics, but I don't wanna just limit this to kombucha per se. Um, you know, it could be any of these gut shots or different probiotic shots. You could be drinking like uh, juice from a sauerkraut bottle, like so many different ways. Maybe it's a fermented uh, coconut, water or something like that. So many ways to get probiotics into your body. I also recommend you eat them through like sauerkraut, kimchi, other fermented foods, but you can also drink them and it can be helpful. Um, so we need to get probiotic sources in your diet for sure. Number four, apple cider vinegar. So this has been used for literally hundreds of years as like some kind of like folk medicine, if you will. Um, and research shows that it actually has benefits and there's a reason that a lot of people take apple cider vinegar in the morning. Um, one of the main reasons is the research shows that apple cider vinegar actually helps improve uh, your blood sugar responses to food. If you take apple cider vinegar before a meal, it blunts that blood sugar spike by about 30%. And that's very notable. So normally if you eat a food that contains carbohydrates, your blood sugar will rise, then your insulin will rise to clear out that sugar and deposit it into your cells. What we want is stable blood sugar that doesn't spike and crash. We want gradual releases. That's why we eat healthy um, whole foods when we do have carbohydrates. And it's also why we include healthy fats into our diet to slow down that time release. Well, guess what? Apple cider vinegar does it almost automatically. You take a probably around one tablespoon 15 to 20 minutes before you eat a meal, whatever that meal would have been, it actually helps improve the blood sugar spike. And I believe it's because the apple cider vinegar is actually working with the gut microbiome and impacting the digestion of those sugars and it probably slows down the transit time, lots of good things. There's other benefits of apple cider vinegar, but for the purposes of weight loss, I think the main thing is it helps control blood sugars. So very good, all of us can use that. And the final thing on this list is a good old fashioned protein shake. Um, and the reason I think protein shakes are amazing, especially when you spike them with chia seeds, is that protein is a great convenient meal replacement. You do not need to take protein shakes to lose weight. You do not need to take protein shakes to build muscle. You can get all your protein from actual foods you eat. That being said, life is busy. Sometimes you're running around doing errands, job, family stuff, and you don't have time to really stop and get a meal. Well, a protein shake comes to the rescue because you can get like lots of clean protein, let's just say 30 grams of protein, put two tablespoons of chia seeds, you're gonna get fiber. Those chia seeds actually gel up and actually create a little bit of a coat in your stomach that time releases, so you actually stay full longer. And so protein shakes are just a convenient go-to uh, tool in your tool belt for times when you're not eating, because this is what happens to a lot of people. They have lunch around noon, and then dinner is like six or seven, and they like don't do anything in that six hour window. So when they go to dinner, they're either cranky or starving, um, or they turn to bad snacks in the middle of the afternoon when they're kind of stressed out. Protein shakes can help you fix that. It's kind of like a good utility source. And again, adding those chia seeds is good for the fiber, good for those omega fatty acids, um, and it really helps time release things. So awesome little uh, superfood addition to your protein. And now you can get a high quality whey-based protein, like our Fitfather uh, Superfuel, that's amazing. We'll link that below. Super clean, has like over 40 different um, superfoods, like greens, uh, berries, a lot of like powdered amazing stuff. Or you can use a plant-based protein powder too as well. Um, you wanna make sure that your plant-based protein powder does test well for heavy metals and doesn't have a ton of those. So we'll throw a link below in the description of a brand that we do love on that front too. So those are like the five categories. So practically speaking, what does it mean? Get up in the morning, make yourself some tea, some organic green tea from a company like a quality company like Traditional Medicinals or Numi or Tulsi. Those are my three favorite tea brands. Um, they're absolutely amazing. They make sure they source the highest quality teas, which is good for your body. Um, you can have black coffee optionally. Now, what I want to say about the coffee front is I think coffee can be a tool um, for weight loss and fat loss. That being said, if you, are, if you know your body is dependent on two to three cups of coffee to produce energy, then this is where we get into a slippery slope, right? Coffee should be a tool, it not, should not be something that you need to rely on to feel like you're at a baseline. So a nice thing that can help if you wanna wean off coffee is to use the organic green tea. You still get a little bit of the caffeine. And there's another herb out there called rhodiola that really does help people wean off the, the black coffee and the coffee itself. And by the way, if you don't like black coffee, what can you put in your coffee? Um, I would recommend you keep these things lower calorie. If you're gonna use a sweetener, use something like stevia. Um, a couple drops of that is very sweet. Um, but that being said, it's, it's it's like probably the best sweetener. You don't want to use a lot of these crappy artificial sweeteners. And you could put a splash of some unsweetened almond milk or something like that. As long as you're not loading your coffee up uh, with tons of sugar and tons of crap, it can be supportive of your efforts. And this also makes me want to comment on the whole Bulletproof coffee thing, where people are throwing a lot of MCT oil, coconut oil, and actual butter into their coffee. Look, these fats do have benefits, but if you're throwing uh, 30 to 50 grams of fat in your coffee, thinking that's gonna help you lose weight, well, guess what? You would have lost more 
more weight if you would have gotten that fat out of there in the first place. Calories matter. Cutting out the three to 500 calories. Now, if you're only doing a bulletproof coffee and you're not in your intermittent fasting and not eating until later in the day, it's fine. But look, just coffee itself increases ketone production, so you don't need to add a ton of added fats to your coffee. You're gonna get them from your um, whole food diet sources. Now, to our avoids list to wrap this up, I would say low quality energy drinks that are full of um, either sugars or artificial sugars. Um, and we do know with the artificial sweeteners, I have videos on this around the channel. Um, you can hop over our channel and type artificial sweeteners in our channel search and you can find that as well, um, is they influence the gut microbiome. They kill off some of the good bacteria. They give you high percentages of the bad bacteria and that can in fact impact your metabolism. So energy drinks, not something I'd recommend. Um, sodas, including diet soda. Soda, obviously the sugar. Diet soda, those artificial sweeteners, not a good thing. Um, sugars and coffee juices, sugary coffees and stuff like that. So, um, so many people trip up by going to like Starbucks or Dutch Bros or Dunkin' Donuts, wherever you get your drinks and they get these multi multiple like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 uh, gram sugar drinks. Like here is a picture of some Starbucks drinks um, with a donut rating. So this is the equivalent amount of sugar in donuts. Some of these are like five donuts worth of sugar in some kind of like Frappuccino thing. So obviously it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're trying to lose weight and be healthy to bombard your body with that much sugar. And when you drink sugar, instead of eating sugar, it does not keep you as full. So getting sugar from whole fruits is much different than drinking sugar in a Frappuccino kind of thing. So that's a gotta go. And I would say the same thing about uh, smoothies that are really high in like, you'll see these smoothies have like banana, pineapple, orange, apple. I mean, yes, these foods are good and it's good to actually eat these whole food fruit sources because they have lots of vitamins, fiber, minerals, and the sugar is actually um, getting dosed with the fiber so it time releases. But when you make a juice like this, it could have 60 grams of sugar. It's gonna spike your blood sugar like crazy. So don't do this stuff. Like this is a picture of an innocent juice. It has like, I think 40 or 50 grams of sugar in this. You can see the amount of donuts it's equivalent to. So not so innocent after all, right? Now, um, the final thing I'll say is um, alcohol. Excess alcohol is absolutely um, gonna impair your fat loss and weight loss efforts. This is not to say you, can, um, you can't drink on occasion, but I would limit it to maybe like one to three drinks per week. And when you are drinking, do understand this, your body is gonna preferentially metabolize the alcohol. Your liver gets busy um, getting rid of that alcohol and creating these different metabolites. And while it's doing that, it does not process the carbs and the fats that you eat as well. These things get preferentially stored. So if you wanna really have a recipe for weight gain, it's like having a bunch of that beer and then eating pizza. It would be a much different story if you just drank the beer and didn't have the pizza. It really does matter. So having um, high calorie foods in the presence of alcohol is a bad idea. If you are gonna eat and drink at the same time, keep it clean. Protein, lower fat, lower carb foods, not that many calories in the presence of alcohol. If you join our Fit Father and Fit Miller Project programs, we have full guides on alcohol and fat loss. We'll show you how to navigate this, we'll give you the best uh, lower sugar drinks list, all that amazing stuff. So, hope you found this valuable. Um, there are a lot of amazing things that you can drink and get into your body. And I'll tell you this, if you find that you are currently drinking sugary sources in your diet or artificial sweeteners, you make these changes, you're gonna start to feel better. Energy levels are gonna be higher. You're gonna be more motivated to get into the gym and lose weight. And if you want more help with this stuff, scroll below in the description, get our free resources. For both the fit fathers and the fit mothers out there, we have a free one day weight loss meal plan. We cover exactly what to eat for breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. We help you figure out your hydration targets. And most importantly, we make this new nutrition stuff simple and sustainable so it's no longer complicated and you don't have to fall off track with some crazy restrictive diet. And if you're pumped about this and you want to check out our full Fit Father and Fit Mother Project programs, we've also linked those below. We have 20,000 amazing men and women all over the world in around 100 countries using our programs, losing a lot of weight, building muscle, and getting themselves in their healthy too. That's linked in the description. You can check that out. Above all, I hope you found this valuable, my friend. Thank you for finding this channel. Thank you for finding this video. If you like this, hit the like button and give me a thumbs up to let me know that you found this valuable. Drop me a comment below if you want. But above all, I'd say subscribe to our Fit Father Project and Fit Mother Project YouTube channels. We literally have hundreds of videos on the channel right now on stuff like nutrition, but we also cover all the best exercise form tutorials. We have full workouts for you. We teach you how to get and stay motivated, which is essential for your health journey. We have all of that here, and you can get notified when we publish new videos. We publish around one new video per week at least, sometimes bonus ones. And if you check that little notification bell, you'll get notified when we upload new videos. So it's always valuable stuff like this. Thank you for being my friend. I'll see you around the channel. I look forward to your like and your comment below, and I'll talk to you very soon.